Hi, Tony Cools here, fishing in 4x4 touring, just inside my camper. We're going to run it down the road and give you a look all around, inside and out, and also a quick look around the boat. Just show you our setup for when we're uh, doing the off-roading and when we go away fishing. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, we'll see you at the park, and we'll keep going from there. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, we're down here at the park. Just going to give you a look at my um, BT50. It's a 2016 model, which I converted into a six-wheeler. Um, the camper itself, I bought as an empty shell and done the full fit-out. Um, the, uh, the back cupboard there on the, on the back, the aluminium one, the work cupboard, that's a, an MRT cupboard which I did a full fit out on the inside. The boat itself is an Alley Craft 465 Piranha. Um, I only built a few of them like that. They were call, called an Odyssey also. It's about 16 years old. It's got an 84 stroke on it, which is still the original motor. It's got the side console. Um, everything's pretty stock standard, except it has got a trolling plate on the back. Um, I'm running the Hummingbird um, Helix on it with the uh, Minn Kota um, Altera uh, Riptide, which is a saltwater version. On the side there, I've got my water intakes and hot water service. I've got a 500 watt solar system on the roof. Um, got the clear view mirrors on it, TJM bull bar. Got the Steady X Pros driving lights, which are, they're pretty good lights. Um, going to give you a look inside, but just lift the roof up. I actually got a actuator ram. Just bought it on eBay. Use that to push the roof up. Made a couple of brackets up. That just pushes the roof up slowly. Um, gets to a point, and then the um, the rams. And the spring system pop it up, which is just done now. All right, we'll go for a look inside. Here we go, I've got the fridge on the right, oven on the left. Got plenty of drawer space. Obviously, I'm a bit untidy. I left the pillow down. That's the kitchen sink. Little sink I put in. I've made all this myself. Uh, all the frames out of aluminium tubing. Got plenty of drawer space. There's all my kitchen gear, four drawers there, which is pretty handy. It's got plenty of storage, this little camper, so got my Evercool fridge just beside it. There's the oven system and stove, I've got three burner. Uh, there's also a griller in that oven and it, in the oven itself, so which is a pretty good setup. Um, double bed up the front. I store a lot of gear on the double bed normally. I normally sleep on the bed down below. If I do a big trip, I even my recovery gear and everything sits up there. Got a TV bracket. I haven't done quite finished off the fit out. I'm going to change a lot of things on this now. Got a few more drawers for me clothing here. I'm going to look at making a drawer system above, and then put the mattress on top. There's a set of airbags I use if I get stuck with that actuator playing up. I can still lift the top up with um, just with the air pressure off the car. Off my air system I've got for my airbags um, on the six-wheeler itself. Got my rod holders for my fishing gear, which is a pretty good setup. Carry heaps of rods on that. There's a photo of it. So that's when I did my trip away up Queensland last year. There's my Evercool fridge. I think that one's a 135 litre. I've got storage under the bed. I can carry 40 litres of diesel. I had that set up for when I went across the desert, did the Simpson Desert Run. Um, it's got plenty of um, zip down windows on it too. There's storage under the floor. Keep a little stove under there or whatever. It's a drawer with just a heap of spare parts. Got another couple of more drawers. Under the, under the actual bed, that this top drawer goes right through to the other side of the bed. 
holds a fair bit of gear. And this other drawer here only goes in that far because I've got two water tanks, one under the bed and one under the other bit. This is my battery system and, and wiring. Got all my circuit breakers in here. Got a little uh, inverter there, a little 900 watt. Got the um, twin water tanks, like I said. I got 110 litres each tank, so I got 220 litres all up. That's a little battery panel I bought, which was an easier way than um, trying to make one myself. I've got my Red Arc system here. They're a great system, the Red Arc. I've got a 110 lithium running on that at the moment. Um, I did have a couple of 135 AGMs, but I cut down on a bit of weight. I've got an air filter there that comes in, and my, that's my Red Arc. That's the manager there itself. I've got my water filters in there. Over here, I've got, I've got a couple of power points underneath there that are for the land power. There's my hot water service. Uh, that's 22 litre electric and gas. I've got a bit of storage in that area. I can put a fair bit in there, actually. Got my little disposable toilet. Or uh, what do you call them? Cassette. Good on me mate for giving me a carton of beer the other day for welding up his boat. That went straight in the fridge. That was Matty It was on one of the trips with us. Now this is the cupboard setup I've got. Um, I'll do a review on this, go right through it, but I've got a slide out table. I've got two drawers on this side with some of my kitchen gear in it. Like so I can just do an outside kitchen area. Got my little 12 volt oven system. Got my barbecue clipped in behind that. That whole top shelf slides out with my barbecue on it. And I can unclip it and then I set that up off that table. Um, or I can sit it on the table. These are a great little thing, these travel buddies. Made in Australia too. They're the best. Mate, you can cook anything. We've cooked roast dinners and all sorts of things driving along. Just go and get your favourite pies and bring them with you frozen and then whack them in that. That's the best. There's my little panel for this. This thing here's actually got a, another separate battery system and I've got a little DC-DC charger in the corner there that charges that battery. So that can be a complete separate system. I can run that on the car on its own. I've got the uh, fold-out ensuite. Got my shower system. Got my hot and cold water hooked up through my water heater. My water pump, little true flow water pump. Got got my gas tank area in underneath. Just give you a look at that. That's it there. Carry a nine kilo bottle, or you can put a smaller bottle in there. I carry all my little extra gas bottles or anything in there so they're nice and safe. On this side, I got my uh, MSA uh, fridge folder. What do they call them? Fridge rack. There's my old Evercool 90 litre electric. I've had that 15 years now, maybe 16 years. She's an old one, but it's a good. Works well. It's a good one. Can't complain. Hasn't let me down. Just take that everywhere in my half cab. Got the other drawer here with some spare parts. I've got a jack in here. Sh little fold out shovel. Just all bits and pieces. Anything. You know, rags, if you break down or anything like that. I've got a fair bit of area. I can put tools in down underneath underneath that drawer. Uh, I generally put all my sockets in. In there, there's the battery. I've, I carry a spare air compressor, which I can just plug in and use. I've got a main air system on the truck itself, so that's my outlet for the sink. Got my two water in tanks. I can do town water. And there's my hot water system. I think that's an Atwood 22 litre um, hot water service. Got my uh, LED outside lights, I've got them all around. Um, that's my six wheeler setup. Anyway, just show you how the roof comes down. I just got that actuator there with that strap. Put a bar in across where the handles normally are to pull it down. It was a bit hard for me actually. When I put the solar panels on it, I put a couple of extra rams on it and it, it made it a bit hard to um, pull down. I think I went a bit heavy on the rams. I could change it, but this is a real easy system. So 
that's it. it 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 comes down like that and that's pretty well it so don't forget to um subscribe to the channel and um give us a click on the like button too if you like the video and um we'll see you on the next one maybe i'll just lock her all down and leave it at that and thanks for watching the video hope you like it try and knock out a few more videos in the next few weeks it's a bit hard sometimes with the weather and what have you all right thanks guys see us later